I used to run my city fully loaded with a Glock phone. If you always hating on the nigga, what you watch for? This is for my soul, she my top five, top four. Bullets flying overhead. Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick video since all of my subscribers had asked what the mods I did on my truck were. Um, that being said, I have no subscribers and I have three comments in total, one of which is my own comment. So, uh, anyway, I've seen a lot of videos on the mods. Um, some people do some really cool stuff with their truck. Some people do some really, really interesting things. I've done some things that I think um, personally um, really have affected my ride quality and um, the quality of my truck in general. The usage I get out of it is phenomenal. Um, so I thought I would make a short video to show you guys what I did. First, pretty common addition to most pickup trucks is this hard cover tonneau cover. Um, it is a tri-fold. That being said, it does not fit perfectly, but I will tell you it is almost completely watertight. I got it for like 230 bucks. Took like two weeks searching around on eBay and Amazon and other websites. I finally found a Chinese company that makes one for that cheap. Took about two and a half weeks to get to me. Um, it does not fit perfectly. It is quote unquote universal, um, but it works. It works really well and it was cheap. And that is what is important. It's like uh, aluminum on the top with a little bit of foam underneath for insulation. It's really great. There is a clip over here, right here. Basically you pull it down and slide it out and then let go and then it's spring loaded and you pull it down, slide it in and it, let it go and it clips onto the, the plastic rail in here. You do that on each side, flip it back, go back and forth, do it on each side, flip it back. It is a pain in the butt, um, I will say that, but for 230 bucks for a tri-fold hard tonneau cover, can't beat it. I've had it for about six months, keeps my bed dry. It's really important for my wife and I, so we travel a lot and we throw all of our luggage in here, which brings me to my second edition that I think is fantastic, is this little corral. Um, I've used it to, f to flip out. It just, it just flips over. I've used it to flip out and lock down to the tailgate and uh, to, to haul big things and wood and such. But um, mainly I use it, we go grocery shopping. I fill it up with groceries. They don't slide around. They don't roll to the front of the bed. Um, I also throw all of our luggage back here. We do travel a lot. We live in Connecticut, we go up to Boston and we go down to New York, sometimes to Pennsylvania. So it really does work. It keeps, it can be monsooning outside and we'll be driving down to, uh, to New York or somewhere and, and, it, and not, not, none of our luggage back here gets wet. It is really one of the best things I ever did and the most convenient things I ever did. I've had a lot of Chevys. Um, this is my first Ford, but uh, that is by far. I've never put, put a tonneau cover. I always had a, a toolbox sitting in the back. Um, this is my first tonneau cover and corral, and it is by far one of the best things I ever did. All right, so maybe the most notable thing I did to the truck was a three-inch rough country lift. Um, I no longer have the shop that I used to have, so I had to pay somebody to put it on. That kind of hurt a little bit, but they did a fantastic job. If you're in the area, um, it was Truck Toys out in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. They really did such a good job. It cost me, I'd say, roughly... $3,100 for the whole setup to include the, the tires. I kept the stock wheels. Um, these are Nitto Terra Grapplers, the G2s. Um, and they sit, I'd say, just, just a hair above 42 inches. Um, they do look a little small, if you ask me, but I think that's just because I have such a big stock wheel and I wanted to leave the stock wheel on there. I put a, ha a quarter inch spacer. They, I couldn't do the half inch. I put a quarter inch spacer behind it bring them out just a little bit it does make my sidewall sit just about actually no it doesn't look at that it's just inside I don't know, maybe it is anyway it's right on the line of whether or not it's it's reaching the fender flare of the sidewall but the top of the tire does not and uh, I'd like it to so maybe what I will do is I do plan on blacking out everything that is chrome on this truck and taking the FX4 off making it all black um, that being said I'd like to keep the stock wheels if you own an Explorer that is all blacked out, they do come with these exact wheels in black. And you want to trade me, hit me up. I'll pay for shipping. Um, other than that, 
Maybe I'll just have to go with an aftermarket wheel with a, just a hair of an offset because I'd like to have maybe flush or half inch sitting outside of that wheel well. Um, while we're back here, one of the other things I did was put on this BRP muffler tip. This thing is sick. It looks good. It rotates over because one of the clips back here broke as soon as I put it on. Sorry, there's a little bit of mud on it. I will tell you, this is the second one that I bought. The first one came off. Whatever system they use, clamping system, to put on the tailpipe does not hold very well. Um, the first one came off when I took it off-roading, probably two weeks after I bought it. I bought another one, and as soon as I went to bolt this one down real tight because I was afraid of it falling off again, and um, one, of the, one, of the, one of the bolts broke, or the clips, sorry. So uh, there went that. There's two clips holding this on, and it's been on for about six months. Not an issue. I like it. Um, if this one falls off, I'll, I'll go with a different company. I did write BRP a review. You know, maybe they can use some kind of hose, hose clamp system. Uh, that would that would do do better, do more justice. I don't know. Anyway, I like the way it looks, so we'll leave it on there for now and see what happens with it. This uh, I got the Ford Ford mud flaps from the dealer when I bought the truck about a year and a half ago. Um, that being said, they are like crazy expensive. And I traded in a truck with mud flaps on it that I paid like $200, $300 for, something like that. And Ford did not want to give me, the dealership did not want to give me these for free. They tried to add them into the financing. So I played their game and I told them I don't want them. Forget it, just take them off. And then when it came time to signing the contract, uh, in the middle of signing the contract, I got up and I said, you know what, I really just can't live without those mud flaps. I guess I'll just go to another dealership. In the middle of signing the contract, and you could see the steam coming out of the guy's ears. I don't suggest doing it. This is the second time I did it. My last truck I traded in, I had a, uh, a Line X in. Two trucks ago, I had a Line X in and a bed liner. And they didn't want to give that to me either. I did the same thing then. It worked then and it worked this time. They get super angry, but they give you what you want at the end. And then 20 minutes later, they're happy because God knows how much money they just made off you anyway. So they can give you some mud flaps or a, or a Line X or weather tech, whatever you want. Get something out of the deal, guys. Come on. Um soon to come mods well, well we'll finish on this first so i did tint the windows i did 20 or 25 percent i can't remember what it is but i matched the stock back um it does look a little darker than stock so i bought this pre-owned whoever owned it before me it's a 2017 i bought it halfway through 2018 so whoever owned it before me or actually right in the beginning of 2018 now that i think about it but whoever owned it before me um Maybe they did put something a little darker on the back. But when I got it, the fronts were see-through. It was a fishbowl. So I ended up going ahead and matching the, the back. Um, I put these these uh, kind of low-profile, I don't even know, rain guards? Is that what you call them? I know they're, they're invented for smokers, so you can crack it in the rain and not get wet. Um, I, I like them. I think they look good. I've had them on all my trucks. That being said, really your call. I think they look sleek. Um, I put this little three-and-a-half inch uh, antenna on there i don't listen to um am or fm i have reset my radio when i installed the apple carplay and i still ended up getting fm signal so i don't know how well it works all the time i don't use it but it did work when that happened so there's a little caveat for you if you want to do it one of the mods coming up in the next couple of weeks i already contacted a company they, uh, a modifications company, they're going to take my headlights, unseal them, paint the insides black, and then give them back to me, clearly, and, uh, and reseal them, and give them back, and I'm, and I'm going to go ahead and install them. Um, I think that'll look good. I'm not paying. I really love the Morimotos. They are gorgeous, but they are $1,500, and that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Aftermarket parts were invented to help you make your truck look different without paying dealership prices, and they are not doing us any favors. Um, at Morimoto. Also, there's another set that was like 1250. That was gorgeous. I uh, had the a, a row of the halogens or whatever you call them with the bubbles in the front up top instead of four going down like the Morimotos. Those look pretty sick. Also 1250. Um, they can also kiss my butt. So, and then one of the best things I did, I did this actually um, the same week I took possession of the truck. I ordered these on Prime. They were $14 on Amazon. They're plug and play. I don't know what the bulb is, but if you just go back there, reach up, turn, and pull back. Um, the, the original bulb will come out. You can look at it. Uh, just hold it in your hand by the wiring harness. 
take a look at it, see what it is, um, put it back in, turn it, go on Amazon and buy these uh, fog lights. They are amazing. I don't know exactly which ones these are. It doesn't matter. Just get one with a lot of diodes. It looks really good. <laughs> um, see if you can match. If you have LEDs like I do, try to match. I think these are 3000K. Um, and what that is, is it's not the brightness. If you're wondering, it's the color of the light. So it's just a hair beyond white. It's almost like a, a little bit of a bluish tint. And uh, anyway, these are nice. They're bright. They light up the fog lines at night and uh, they just look really good at night. Um, I want to black out the front bumper. I want to black out the grill. I say that as a question because I might get the Raptor grill. It's really been growing on me lately not sure i'll black out the tow hooks um, black out the mirrors that being said there are lariats even in my model year that come with um, paint to match black bumpers and and such and mirrors and uh door handles and if you have them and, and you want to get rid of them you want chrome just tell me i will pay for shipping and i will ship mine to you um and we can just do a one for one swap because i'm trying to black everything on this truck and I don't know, shipping will probably, shipping that stuff might even save me some money versus going ahead and uh, paying a company to paint chrome because a lot of companies do not like to paint chrome. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. The three inch rough country lift. It's just a spacer in here. And some more shocks on the back. Um, I don't know, I had three and a half inches on my last Silverado and six on the Silverado before that. The six was too much. The three and a half looked a little bit bigger than this, but it was, it sat just right. And I, you know what, I, guys, I think this three inch does sit just right too. Although going from that to this, I don't feel as tall on the road and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I think uh, the three inch does do, do justice. So we will go inside and check out the little things I've done inside. So far, if you can see that right there, there's a dash cam in there. Go ahead and check out the inside. All right, guys, so this is the inside of a 2017 Lariat. If you haven't seen one, most of you probably have by now. Um, I imagine the 2019s don't look too different. In fact, I've been in one, they don't. Um, sorry, the backs are up. I just had my dog in here, but um, anyway, I love the seats. They did a great job with the gray stitching. I think they look really classy. They. Uh, hug, hug you really well on the road. They're nice and comfortable. Like I said, I do long distance drives a lot for work up to New Hampshire, down to Pennsylvania, so on and so forth. So um, it's a really comfortable ride. It really is. Uh, one of the coolest things about this truck, if you don't have one and you're thinking about getting one, if you go to the nav destination, I'll set it to home about an hour from my house. Obey traffic laws. Yeah, 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 thanks. So, while driving. clearly you get this, right? And you probably know this. The home button gives you a little map right there. lets you listen to... Uh, listen, guys, I don't listen to One Direction. It just happens to be on there, okay? Um, anyway, it shows you everything. And uh, just pretty cool. They did upgrade this recently. So you can turn on your heated steering wheel right here. Instead of going into the climate. Or, yeah, going to the climate, going up here. That was a pain in the butt. So from the home screen, you can now turn on your heated steering wheel. That's kind of cool. If you haven't updated that, go ahead and do it. Uh, Owner.ford.com. Then just find the update. Uh, put it on a thumb drive, stick it inside the USB, and it'll update itself. So one of the coolest things that I think, going back to what I was saying, um, so when you put a location into your GPS, what's really badass is this screen right here doubles. This is a off route. Um, but it doubles, so so it'll give me the directions right there. So if I wanted to, let's say I was over here and I had done Foreskin already, which I haven't done yet and I will do soon, and my wife was watching a movie or whatever, um, or I was just on the radio station, and you know she was doing that, I'd still have my directions right here. It's fantastic. I think it's one of the coolest things ever thought of. Um, anyway, that being said, that's one of the cool things about this truck. But I did not do that. That came on the truck. All right, starting with an easier mod that you can do for about 50 bucks. Or an addition. I don't know people call them mods. You're not really modding performance or anything. But um, that little guy right there. He looks just like the stock one. In fact, it is a Ford Motor Company part. It says FOMO Co. on the back. Um, although it is come from, coming from China. You can get that Amazon Prime for about 50 bucks. It is a Apple CarPlay module. So it is almost exactly looking the same, except it has, yeah, I don't know, software in it or whatever that allows you to have Apple CarPlay, whereas this truck did not originally. Um, 
So uh, I'll throw that up on the screen so you can see it. By the way, if you haven't updated your software to Sync 3, go to owner.ford.com, uh, click support, or just scroll over it. There'll be a drop down menu, and you can click software update. It's really simple. Um, and uh, and it'll walk you through it. The only thing I will add is that if you have a MacBook like I do, you cannot do it in Safari. It'll download too many files. You have to do it in, uh, well, I did it in Mozilla Firefox. You don't have to do that. Cool, so now I have Apple CarPlay permission. It's asking me for it. I never had this before. And there it is, so let's see if it works. We'll do, yep, it's fine, continue. I agree that Ford is not responsible if I die while using CarPlay. Now my phone is asking me here. If it's okay, I'm gonna click allow. <coughs> Look at that. I've got CarPlay. How sweet is that? All right. Okay, so now we're back. Um, one of the other mods I did was these dash cams. I think they're pretty sweet. I'm gonna turn the truck off so you can see. When you turn the truck on and off, um, what it'll do is the screen will come on and it'll show you what's going on outside the truck. Um, that'll happen when you turn the truck back on. It'll it'll go on for, I don't know, about 30 seconds and then it'll go black. It'll stay on and you'll know that because there's a little amber flashing light up here. It's not bright enough for you to see at night or it is to see if you look right at it, but it won't blind you. It won't, it won't flash bright enough for you to see it. Just to let you know it's recording, I put one of those there and I put one of those right back there. Um, that one tends to fall off a lot. I gotta do something about that suction cup. I don't know why. Um, I think that's it so far.